Okay, I've been stitching all these all these together. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Just with regular uh, needle and thread. And it works pretty well. The thread can um, can cut the plastic, so you just have to be careful there. So I put the epoxy in um, before I spread the boat and the reason is that I want these seams to sort of stay like that so that when I spread her open I can still maintain this sort of curve. I'm happy with that and then uh, next I'm going to do the back and of course uh, I will trim this around there because I have to make the boat shorter um, because this real estate sign wasn't big enough but so far I like how it looks uh, it'll be strong and uh, can't wait to put her in the water I use these clamps in, in reverse basically uh, to spread her open like that so I just grab the clamp put it in there and released it and that did the trick um, see now I have my nice slope there on the sides right there uh, and right there and because I let the epoxy dry now it's it's doing a really nice pinch here like a like it goes that way and that way like it's a nice little smooth curve um, then I just put some tapes here because this spread it out too far so with this transparent tape I'm just able to uh, bring it back back in um, and obviously the tape is just there for now until I put the back on but now I can put it like this up against the paper and it's a little crooked right now but I'll be uh, tracing uh, the back end of the boat on paper through only one half though so that they're absolutely symmetrical. Here's, I folded this paper in half and um, I'm just going to try to make sure this line is right in the middle here. Pretty much in the center there. What I'm going to do now is uh, trace out the side that I like the best, which I think is this guy, and uh, only trace out the middle, and then fold it back, cut it that way, and then it'll give me the exact uh, mirror image of the side on this side. Okay, so that's going to be my shape. I'm going to fold this back up and cut it with the scissors okay now I'm gonna just trace uh, trace the pattern onto the plastic uh, okay there it is I'm just gonna cut this Okay, there it is. Now I can go ahead and uh, stitch it. I'm going to cut this side of it, let it uh, be a little more flexible. Uh, let's see. Yep. I like it. It says need. Okay, this time I'm going to use a smaller, uh, thinner needle 
Okay, well. There's the first line of stitches. So I don't want to pull on this too much because it will break the plastic and avoid the stitch. It's happened to me a few times. You just go back and redo the stitch. <clears throat> there it is. All the way around. I'm going to put some epoxy on it. Okay, epoxy is in. So you just sealed those stitches and it'll become rock hard just like here. Now I'm not worried about all these blobs here and there because I'm going to cover this whole thing in Bondo um, and just to give it a just to make it super smooth so uh, after this dries I'm going to apply Bondo everywhere and I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to uh, sand, sand, sand. So just sand it down smooth. Uh, try to accentuate some of these, these here. Um, but you know what? I'm really happy with it. It uh, it creates a, a nice, nice looking boat, man. Got some bundle over here. I'm gonna add the hardener. Gotta act fast, this thing sets in a few minutes. Ah, see, it's already setting. Okay, I gotta do make a lot smaller batches, maybe less hardener. Well, I've been applying a bondo and sanding it down, and. Um, I ran out of it, so I need to go get some more. But I'm pretty pleased with it. I mean, it's uh, it's a lot of elbow grease, but uh, look at that. It's coming out real nice. I need to fill, out, fill in some of these spots again. Let's put some more bondo in it. Do some more sanding. I'm gonna use this automotive primer this uh, grayish color and it gives you a good uh, good grip and well there it is all nicely primed I'm gonna let it dry for a while uh, it looks pretty smooth. It's funny when once you put the primer on, you can detect these little imperfections. Okay, well there it is with the second coat of uh, primer, and wow, it's looking great. I really like the shape. The bondo really helps. <laughs> 